What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and yes, welcome to another War Robots round here. Last time we played on the Battle Rack account a full long range hangar in whatever came up. And it was first a short range map, and then it was a short range map in uh, even afterwards in Free Fall. And uh, so now I'm playing a full brawling hangar with you, just short range combat all the time. Now let's see if I'm so unlucky that this time the game is giving me actually just long range maps. That would be insane, okay? But you know what? I'm willing to to take whatever it comes up we're gonna try to make it work first uh, free fall here and do uh, the best we can even if whatever the long range map comes up with a full brawling hanger let's see all right war robots be nice to me give me now dead city give me carrier give me moon give me uh, not Springfield. No, no 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 don't give me that maybe valley valley would be cool too right so any of these maps would do and uh, give it to me soon because I'm running out of patience thank you so hey Power plant. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. I want to be the third guy to come in. The third one. There we go. Okay. The third one has the best spawn, if you ask me here. Because he kind of can just sit here and wait and see what happens over there. While this guy and this guy, they might fight each other. And these guys... Wait a minute. One guy already got destroyed. Oh, boy. That's not exactly how I wanted this. And this is a pursuer. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. Now that's gonna be a bit different and difficult here to get because the pursuer is a very powerful enemy and uh, yeah, he is not easy to take down. Maybe I can sneak a kill away from here. That would be awesome. Oh yeah, I did get it. I, sn I snuck a kill right there with this, with this combination here. Is he just waiting for his stealth to come back or what is it exactly is going on right now? Because he's not moving anywhere. And that is a little bit weird. You would expect this guy to move ahead and attack us, right? That's what you would expect to happen from this. Uh, maybe I'm gonna get a snu another snuck. Yeah! Snuck that kill too. And this guy? Wow, without actually using my stealth ability, I have already gotten three kills. Because we do have the long range for it. He's gonna do his shock train hit. That's uh, That was to expect. Okay, so the Pursuer is still there, and he's going to activate stealth now because he's not really got a different choice. And, um, yeah, let's see what's going to happen here. I don't want to fight this guy over there, but he will have to fight sometime soon because he's going to get attacked, see? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm easily the first, and I don't have to do anything. I have to just wait here and see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go, son. He realizes now that he's in a, he's getting into a, a trouble situation uh, where, you know, enemies are going to come up from him from behind. And, uh... <clears throat> so, am I in range to do something here? Nope, not yet. Okay, there he is. Yeah, he's coming closer now. He wants me. And he's corner shooting at this very moment. Uh-oh. I realize I can't go anywhere here. So, that's not good. I can hit him in stealth, I think. Ah, damn it. You, dude, you can't you can't leave this ship. You can't leave. I can't I can't go off of this unless I jump. Only with a stealth jump I'll be er uh, I'll be able to walk off this uh, this position here. Wow, there is Tolumbas on this thing. Wow. Okay. Ah, no chance. Okay. They really pinned me very very well right there because of the freaking... I couldn't walk anymore. I had to activate stealth just to be able to uh, walk away from it. So let's attack this uh, this Ancelot right here. Pretty effectively at very short range. With Gust Storm and everything into his face. Orkins. And then absolutely a open. Da! Boom! <laughs> that poor Lancelot didn't know what was happening to him. He didn't know what hit him. Yeah, that's right. Oh man, you know what? I must must and say I'm do I do enjoy brawling hangers so much more than um, than the long range hangers. It is just more my kind of thing. So he's now coming back. He wants to do his shot, I think. Oh, enemy two got destroyed. Okay. I'm waiting for my chance here. It's still this guy. It's still him. Ah, this is so insane. I just can't do anything because this guy with his stupid 
Tolumbas just keeps getting me. He just keeps catching me at this long range. Jeez, man. Every time. Really, really well played. He does, he does it exactly the way he needs to do it, using this spot as best as possible. It is just three Tolumbas, but they can wreck you so quick, and you can't hit them back. All right, now, we're, of course, we're running the Orc Inspector here. And... Uh, Trying to get this kill, and then trying to get this kill too. Okay, he uh, he has lost a lot of health, but he's still alive. And there is the uh, high chief coming in, which I need to get very quickly. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. No! Ah, there was so much firepower coming in. Incredible. And he gets the first kill immediately. So here, hopefully. That is gonna be enough. Nope, and he gets killed by somebody else. Dude, it's it's no matter what I do right now. Holy crap. We're still first though, so overall, in the big scheme of things, we're still doing good. It's just, it just doesn't work the way I want it to right now. Damn it. Too many kill steals, too many things uh, that happen. Oh man, it's him again. Jesus, this guy is being so annoying to me. Boy, is this guy a freaking annoyance. It is such a nuisance. So he's now taken out from behind, and I'm hoping that I can somehow sneak. Yep, I was able to steal, steal the kill. Cool. And now the uh, this guy's coming with his shotguns from behind. There is very little I can do about this right now. Yep. Uh, but I'm getting this kill. Nice. Whew. That was uh, unexpected. I did not think I was going to be able to get this kill. To be honest, guys, I thought I was going to die. Uh, because the Orc Inspector has so much firepower. Let's see what this... Oh, God. Okay. Maybe I can make him activate his... His, uh... His mode already early on. That would be really good. That's what I need to do in order to have a chance against him. I need to make him activate his... His stealth mode very early. Okay, come on, die. Nice, I got him. Woo, that was good. Okay, he knows he needs to be careful. The problem is we're not alone. There's more than him and me. What? What? He killed me in my stealth jump. That is just such nonsense right there. So both of these guys are now having their stealth mode active. Okay, I got one of them with the with the jump of the raven. Man. Is that an uh, is that a Bulgazari? What is this? I think it is a Bulgazari. Yep. He's already getting a lot of damage right there on the corner. He's getting damage left and right. It's a Bulgazari that's getting whooped by a raven so much right now. And there you go. He didn't even do anything. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it's the rockets. The rockets really destroy uh, the Bulgazari. Alright, we have uh, a thing coming up. A Kamiho. And the Strider. Okay. Uh, sorry, not Strider. The, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Pursuer. The Pursuer is following. <laughs> That's, that second dash was really bad, man. He dashed into the wall. So I need to make... There it is. There is the, the first stealth jump. Uh, or not jump. More like a stealth uh, walk. And he's doing a lot of damage to me with his gust. The thing is, he can't corner shoot me now because I'm running, I'm running a weapon and a setup. That has a splash radius. And before he has a chance, I got him. Uh, I, I had him pinned. If he had gone to the right, I would have hit him really well. If he got to the left, I hit him really well. So I had him really well pinned. Now let's see what the last guy is. Let's see what the last guy is going to come with. Or the last robot he's got. It might be a stealth jump. I don't know. 
Or he might just be sitting right there do doing nothing. I don't know. Could be. Oh, it's a Spectre. Orc and Spectre. Okay. Well, I'm, 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 I'm F now. I got no chance. It's just completely chanceless. It's an Orc and Spectre. And I already used my two jumps to get to him. If I know it's an Orc and Spectre, I need my jumps to get away from him. So, you know how he just killed me? He killed me by acting AFK. That's how he just got the kill. He acted AFK and that's how he was able to kill me because I thought I, my last chance to get an extra kill is to jump at this guy right now. I used both of my defensive moves offensively and had zero chance against him there. So that was the first round here in Free For All. Uh, brawling, kind of a brawling map. It's not purely brawly, but it's okay. It's a, it's a good brawling map. It's, it's, I like this map a lot, Power Plant. So let's see with this brawling hangar what we can do in a different map. This is a mixed fight, okay? We have kind of mixed feelings about this map. We have a long range map, but we have Beacon Rush. So this is a combination that is really cool for us because it will allow us to get... Um, th the combination is not exactly the best one, but it's okay. See this trebuchet? We're taking a massive amount of damage in a second. I know that, but uh, I'm going to get this beacon here and make sure... To hopefully stay uh, stay in progression. Wait, he didn't get me. He's actually targeting the Komiho now. Wow. I think he may have been like, oh, see that guy? That's just a Griffin, man. Or an upgraded Griffin. Whatever. You know what? Let's give him a chance, man. Let's give him a chance and do something different. Why is he walking to my Orkin range? That's really strange. I can drop this guy's shield very quickly. And make it easier for my help and my enemies and my friends to uh, to get to get to him. And they didn't get the center beacon, which is good. Now we are getting it. All right. So <clears throat> we're still alive. We're still having a lot of health, and we have both jumps. So even though this is kind of a sniping map, we can still use it very effectively. Problem is, what do they have? Uh oh, it's a dragoon fury. Oh boy. I need the dragoon fury to be busy doing something else. Okay, now he is busy. Okay, I got him even. Taking this beacon if I can. Yeah, oh no, I got the beacon for just a split second, but it wasn't enough. Hopefully our Camillo can get the beacon. Come on, Camillo, do it. Do it, Camillo, yes. No, how did you also lose? How did you also lose against the same guy? Ah, oh, that was so close. That was such a close thing. Wow, I just spawned here. I have just spawned here a second ago and I'm almost destroyed already. Did you see that, guys? I'm almost destroyed already. Wow. Boom, instant kill. I spawned with full HP and then I got instantly taken out to very little health. Wow, man. All right, I'm going to take another, um, even more damage now, but I have to kind of accept the fact that there's nothing I can do about it here. So my stealth jump is going to be gone now. Taking massive damage. Insane amounts of damage. And he's also in range, which is a problem, and more shock train. They only have to walk in range once, hit the button, walk back. That's what they do. They walk in once, hit the button, and walk back. I'm taking the full salvo and again, almost destroyed. Wow. And he manages to get away. He is in range, and uh, I'm getting killed now. Again. See, that's the brawling hangar on a, on a sniping map. So. Doing some good damage here to this Haichi. Good, got him. Uh, the enemy team is probably going to win this because uh, even though we are in, in lead of the beacon, they are seriously getting to us when it comes to, uh, to to losing bots. We're about to lose all our robots right now. Okay. And there comes the Spectre with Shock Train. Nice. Okay. We got him pretty good there. And there he goes. Okay, so I'm, I'm just playing playing more carefully, more defensive right now. Just trying to stay alive. Trying to try to uh, take them down for a longer time. Uh-oh. You know what I think is going to happen now? 
they they will be spawning right there. And if they spawn there, I can't get the beacon. I wish I could attack the beacon and just take it from them, but I don't think that's going to happen here. Although I'm trying. I'm trying to give my best. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Boom, I got him in mid-air. I'm pretty sure I got him in mid-air with the explosion. So now with the with the whole combined gust and and um and you know, and Ember, that's her name, right? Uh, we can do a lot here. So he's missing all of his rockets because he wasn't kind of taking into consideration that I have a lot of this um, movement ability here. And even though, so this was a real sniping map, an incredible sniping map, okay? Please get out of my way. I need my... Okay, hopefully I'm gonna reach this uh, this guy here. Boom, nice! Got this one guy, got the other... Wait, no, somebody else got the other guy. But it's okay. We have uh, helped getting the guy, so useful still. And nice. So yeah, a sniping map with a brawling ma uh, uh, with a brawling game mode and a brawling hangar. Interesting combination, guys, and certainly fun to use. I still am, and I will always be the brawler in this game. Uh, I I also enjoy sniping once in a while. Long range support, stuff like that. I like the Tulumba Spectre a lot because it can counter the strong Bulgazari Shock Train and Scourge. Um, and also the Orc Inspector at some points, but I will always be this, the brawler because that's how I like... That's what I think War Robots is. To me personally, War Robots is a brawling game. Just big combat machine versus big combat machine. <laughs> like kids, like with their toys, <laughs> you know? That's what War Robots is for me, and that's why I enjoy playing War Robots so much with brawling hangers most of all. Uh, hopefully you also had some fun watching this, uh, even though there was some crazy stuff happening like uh, stealth denial where I activate my stealth and I'm still not in stealth and I get killed. That sucks, man. I hate this so much when this happens. It's I think it's because my internet connection is so good that uh, when I press the button, it's delivered immediately to everyone around there and they immediately have a stealth and uh, the, the stealth. Uh, running the stealth is running on my end, but on the enemies uh, they they have a, a lag connection or don't have that fast internet speed And so it takes a second or two more for for them to see my stealth And that's how they can still kill me in midair pretty much and that's ugh, I hate it It's frustrating because I was planning on this move so long It was like a two-minute bland version to attack this guy with my mercury jump and then the game just says you know what here get killed whatever <laughs> uh, Boy, all right anyways Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.